Hello everyone. This is Mrs. Shawri, our class. Welcome back. So we are going to start a wonderful project. Uh, this is the first step for drawing people. And then we are going to do a great project about African American Month celebration. So today we are going to start drawing faces. The first question for you is, what is a portrait? So this is a wonderful question. We are going to talk about it, but portrait, we are talking about, can be a painting, can be a drawing, can be a photograph or a sculpture for, of a person, but remember it's not all the body. When we are talking about portrait, it's just from the head to shoulders, just this part of our body. Okay, so before to draw faces, we are going also to review a few of the elements of art. Line, shape, texture, space, force, value, and color. I always I said, when you are drawing, you need to really know all these elements that you can create on your work and you know it's so expressive it's so beautiful we talk about geometry shapes the last classes and also we talk that if these shapes become three-dimensional so they call forms and if we are applying them some shadows that's part of the value the effect that it creates and the texture, remember that we were talking about textures. So this is super interesting. When we are using all these elements, also if we are dividing the space and we are creating the background and the middle ground and the foreground. Which one is the foreground? This one. Which one is the middle ground? This one. Which one is the background? So those are important vocabulary words that you need to know when you are doing your work is bigger the sizes when they are far away no they are smaller when one object is close to us they become bigger they are bigger close to us bigger that's a good way to show distances so anyway the, and the color of course is one of the most important elements gives light to our work Okay, I just wanted to show you something about value. And for the people that are new students, you know value is give you the effect of light and darkness on any object. So if the light comes from this side, everything that is here will be lighted. And every time that you go close to the other side, so of course, is the absence of the light. So it will be darker. There is something that is called cast shadow that is the darker color that you can apply is the black the darker darker color the same theory about value you can apply with any color so you can use the color super dark when you are doing the shadow on the table in this case and then you are become you know you go here of course i had a sharpie but if i am doing with color we have the light and then the object gets darker and darker and darker every time until we go to the surface. You know, the, the surface will be this table. So I am talking about value because this kind of effects you have to apply it also on the face, where the light comes from and which part of the face is dark. And I wanted to show you that there are beautiful techniques. We are going to watch some images in a little while that a hatching you may like in one direction and cross hatching you may like in opposite direction too that give you a texture and a beautiful sensation you can do it in curves you can do it in diagonal lines you can do it straight and you can use it the wonderful way that your work will be better i really love the blending and you know this is one of that we use so much we can do an scale of value. That means I'm doing lighter, darker, and darker. And when we do it with the flannel, we blend, and that gets on a small surface. So this is one of my favorite techniques. I think that you will like to for drawing faces.
Okay, so this is what we are going to do now. You are going to follow me with those exercises. If you need to come back and stop the video, you can do it. I am doing with Sharpie because you can see better on the video, but for you, please do it, do it with pencil. If you need to raise, it's fine, but this kind of exercises is more to, you know, to get your hands and, uh, faster and practice. So if this is your paper, you can divide your paper maybe in six, uh, parts and we are going to use a circle and oval geometry shapes you look i can use even an, a rectangle and part of the rectangle part of the triangle and a little curve i'm going to do another oval and maybe more circular shape this is a kind of a square that's going to be for the neck you need to be a smaller so this is that you i i want that you guys do on your paper what you have to start open your notebook divide your paper in six equal parts or maybe you just start to draw faces you don't need to do these divisions but i think are good so you can see the difference so each one then i am waiting for you so you draw the shapes please I'm going to mark with some different markers, some lines, but you are continuing working with the pencil. So just keep going. I want that you draw six different faces, and I want that you do also a rectangle in the bottom that is going to be the neck, and we have the shoulders. The shoulder, we can do just a little line. This is called a sketch. The sketch is just a faster exercise so you get the basic forms when you are drawing a face. So after you are doing this with the same pencil, you can make a line in the center. Remember that we were talking about symmetry? So at least we can do a line so both sides we know the same that we are putting in one side, we need to put in the other side. And that's when we are going to do a symmetrical shape or in this case face okay let's play with more geometric shapes the center of the face is the nose that's the nose and the nose because this is in the center we left some space for the forehead and we left some space for the mouth so let's make a rectangle here how big is the rectangle one is half it's a third part of the face you see the forehead here is going to be the mouth and the nose is in the center so you can do the three divisions if you like or you can just put these shapes in the center of your paper i am making different kind of nose that you are going to see that is not difficult this is the letter c and this is the letter c backwards two ovals and two lines okay so this is what going to be for the nose can you please everyone draw in this on the center of your geometry shapes in this case the face the triangle the rectangle again if you need to see this video again so just come back and see the video those are going to be fast facts exercise i can give you more time because what i want is just practice 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 makes you better at it now for the mouth we are just going to do an oval an oval an oval an oval you can do a small ovals or bigger ovals and one line in the center we are not making details about lips you see it's just practice and there is something important that we are going to do the letter c again but longer and it's occupying the same size all your nose when you are drawing faces you don't believe but the uh, the ears are the same size of your nose if you don't believe me get a pencil measure your nose and then go to one side of the ear and they had almost the same size your nose is bigger like your ears so that's why they go in the center of the face both go on the center of the face sizes chain according where the uh, the people some people has bigger mouth or bigger eyes 
or but that's part of who we are that's fantastic so now this is something very important that i want that you pay attention please when we are drawing eyes you need to be careful because the eyes check it out this going to do it here very quick we have one line for the eyes so if i make an eye super big and i put the other eye super close so this is not human we have the nose in the middle so when you are drawing an eye you need to have the size of one third eye so let me put this here let me go no this one let me go with this division let me give me a second so you understand what i am saying when you are drawing an eye is an arc another arc and the one circle in the center and this is the distances that you should have between two eyes you cannot believe so the nose is here and you need to have a bigger space of the same size like the third eye and for the face we need to have a little triangle because our faces our human eye they are not in the border of our face they have some space here between. So this is that we are going to do here very quick is just make an oval. I, I will show you later how you can draw eyes, but we are just working with geometric shapes. Okay. So this is an oval and a circle in the center. And if you see, I am really left spaces here, very big space between both eyes. What size? The size of the same eye that I am doing. So it's an oval and a circle. Okay, we are done. And we are done with the shapes of the, the shapes of the faces. We can do a little more circular shapes to the ones that we did with a square and rectangles. Now, something fun. Let's play to make some hair. So we are cover part of the forehead, you see? Like this, some triangular shapes. We imagine that this is a flat hair. So I'm going here, flat hair. Let's make a beautiful curly hair. So, ding, 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 ding. This is a very fun activity because you can just play we make some different hairs. You can even do something crazy hairs, you know? Pong hair, I don't know. Love, please, enjoy doing a strange hairs. A strange, no, beautiful hairs, I would say. So anyway, curly hair. So you see that I cover a little of the forehead. That's why we have so much space in the forehead. And then you can see the faces. You can even put them um hats maybe you know let's make this one a little hat here haha <laughs> very elegant so you can we are not coloring this one so the first exercise is to draw six faces you are going to come back to look at this video and you are going to do this on your notebook i don't ask you to color i am ask you to practice After that, I'm going to show you a little more. Uh, I'm going to stop the class and you are going to work over 10 minutes of these faces. We can share and we can talk about it. So you can, if you have questions, so I can give you feedback or I can help you with something else that you need. This is there. So anyway, so we are going to have the the let's come back to this page so the class will be just until here and i'm going to give you a little feedback so you can practice and finish this exercise now i'm going to go closer to the features to the features and getting to the features that are the part of the face so let's let's um, check it out the lips that i told you you make an oval and then it's a division in the center but the important thing is our face is no straight our lips have curves and that's why it's so important 
to make sure that our lines go a little more natural. So check it out this. We make a little triangle, we make a little arc, and curves. So our lips become curvy. We can do some lines, you can color with your color pencils, and it gives you some expression to the face for a smiling. It will be like this. See? So from something that is an oval and a geometric shape, you can just make a lips. If you are drawing the nose from the geometric shapes that I showed you, a rectangle. So the rectangle, you make some C and the uh, uh, bad words, the nostrils, and a little curve. It's like another C. So we had also a nose. We are doing this. So lines, the eyebrows go there, letter C, letter C, nostrils, and a curve. So we have, and also depends on what you are doing. There are people that have different noses, of course. So it can be wider, it can be smaller, it can be pointed. So it's up to you how you do it. There is one way that you make a circle, you make the nostrils, you make the curves, and then you just go straight higher to see how is the nose. And when you are coloring, you kind of color a little that circular shape and go higher. We are going to do this part later, maybe the next week, so I just wanted to show you. Now, the beauty of the eye is you can make a rectangle, one line in the center, one line crossing, and we make an arc, and we make the bottom arc, and a circle. Everything is with geometry shapes. All the year, I have been working with you drawing geometric shapes. If you know to draw geometric shapes, you can draw everything else. That's the most beautiful uh, lesson that I can give you. Just make sure that you can able to draw geometric shapes and you can draw lines and you can do textures and you can make cross hashing and all this kind of the lines that make your work very very expressive so the eye come back you can make a circle you need to make the arc and you close the arc the eyes are not oval or circular like a human being like animals what we are doing or like in the cartoon that are for the cartoons or comics there are so many ways to draw eyes, very expressive, but if you want to practice a little more like a human, you need to follow this kind of exercise. And then let's check it out a face. That's the, the second part of the exercise, so let's see what happened today. But if you know, we do it the next week. So what I did first, it was I'm going to work with a rectangle and one square. I am dividing this in half and I am doing three divisions. It doesn't get exactly the same, no worry, because we are just practicing, right? Letter C, nostrils, core. Line for the eyebrows, an arc for the eye, an arc for the eye. No, no gestures. So here is my oval, and I'm going to do the triangle here, so the mouth gets more curved. The chin, here we have this. And there is where I am doing everything about here. What about these guys? So this is called a sketch. A sketch is the first part of your work. We have the word proportions. That means make sure that you have the where you put the eyes, where you put the mouth. It's in the center of the nose. You don't need to do anything about shadows yet. I just want to show you that if you practice and practice, that will be so easy for you eventually. 
But lines are very important element of art because it helps us to be super expressive. So I hope so you like this lesson. Let's come back to the faces that you need to draw. And when we finish this part of the exercise, maybe we, we have time to start this phase. Done. So let's finish here. Thank you.